I went to the beach again yesterday. And between between the beer, the sun, and the cigarettes, her sister came by with cigarettes. I'm like, you want you want a cigarette? Yes. I've always had this ability in my life where I could start smoking cigarettes and then stop. I didn't in my early 20s. I got I got hooked on cigarettes for a couple of years, and it was tough to quit. But then from there on out, I could get on. I could have a cigarette. I could, you got a cigarette? I'll have a cigarette, and then that's it. I want to smoke. I, I, tell, I, 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 I taught myself some self-discipline. So I can have a cigarette now and again. And oh my God, a cigarette on the beach? With a beer? Oh. I want I mean, what else do you need? Oh, and then my son, my son, I don't know what's going on lately, but my son goes like this. Dada, teta, teta, teta. I turn around and there's a girl topless on the beach. Young girl. We're talking, you know, early 20s. Just the kind of girl you want to see topless. You know, it's like every time, my every topless experience I ever had on the beach was like, you didn't want to see this person topless. And I got news for you. This ain't California, guys. Over here on the East Coast, it's very rare for somebody to go topless. You understand? Oh, my God. It's like my buddy, my buddy Steve, when he was like, we, we, we were on the beach and you're on Robert Moses Field 5. It's, it's a hop, skip, and a jump away from the nude beach on Fire Island. My buddy says to me, you want to walk down in the nude beach? I'm like, hey, sounds like a plan. We start walking. And this is like going on a journey. You know, we're just walking along the shoreline. All of a sudden, in the distance, I see like a silhouette. Like it was like a silhouette, like a, like a, a man approaching. And I'm squinting my eyes. And the way the sun was, all I saw was this black silhouette coming at, it, at me. Next thing you know, I see like a fucking grandfather clock swinging between his legs. I see, it was like this microphone. You understand? I never saw a dick this big in my life. It was like this. And I'm like, what the fuck? We get a little closer. It's an old guy. We're talking about a guy. He had to be pr 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 uh, a touch in his 80s. With the longest dick I've ever seen. A dick down to his knees. And just swinging around. I, I said to my buddy Steve, we got to turn around and get out of here. I can't handle this. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting there in my fucking... Uh, uh, oh, oh. Panama Jack fucking bathing suit. I mean, I saw this guy's dick. I was so intimidated. My my dick just like shriveled up. It was like... <laughs> this is no fun anymore. So that guy walks past us like, oh, you know, good morning. I, I don't know what he... He was like, nice guy. I mean, uh, I would be too. You know, if I had a fucking gas pump hanging between my legs. And then we do, we, so my friend's like, yeah, come on, come on. So we press on. And next thing you know, there's this naked old lady, like battered by the sun. Do you understand what I'm saying? You ever see these people? Like, uh, like an iguana, her skin was, right? And she's got her hands in the air like this. And she's got like one leg, one leg up like this, and she's she's meditating. 
and the 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 cans are hanging down like this, and the stretch marks. I mean, it looked like like two slim gyms hanging. Uh, I, I, was, I was like, enough is enough. He's like, no, no, we got to go. We got to go. So we, we go there, and it was just a bunch of, like, I don't know, fat, ugly people, old people, like pe two people that have no business being naked. Let's face it. And a lot of people don't have any business being naked around here. I don't know. I don't know. I get up for work the other day. It's just, one thing doesn't have to do with the other. I don't even know why I'm bringing this up. Oh, and, and then my buddy Steve's like, let's get naked. And, like, he takes off his, his, his trunks, and he's, like, running through the surf and whatnot. And I'm like, this ain't happening, Jack. I got news for you. I'm not taking off my... I remember I got arrested once. And I, I for, for having a fake ID. And the cops brought me in this room, and they're like, you got to take your clothes off. And I was like, no. How about that? The, I, th this one, I cannot believe to this to this day. These cops were like, remember in First Blood? They're like turning the fire hose on them. Th these were the kind of cops these guys were. All right? And I said, no. Next thing you know, the whole uh, room was flooded with officers. Yeah. And this is where I, I learned the power of, like, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what you call it. Human uh, determination? I don't know what it's called. They all flooded the room. And the guy's like, all right, take off your clothes, Mr. Burns. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I basically gave him the look like, C come and do it. Let's go right now. I swear to God, there were 10 officers in the room. I, saw, I, I can't believe I'm still alive to this day. I didn't get the beat down in my life. I said, no. I said, if you mean to tell me I got to take off my clothes for having a fake ID, I'm not doing it. In all honesty, I don't need to pull out my pants and see, have everybody see my little dick. <laughs> I just didn't. I wasn't going for it. And they all backed down. I backed them. I think I started. I don't know what was going on. They all backed down. That's a true story. Then they threw me in a, a, a cell and gave me a ham sandwich. <laughs> I didn't need it. <laughs> I'll show them. I'll show them uh, I'm not eating anything. Yeah, I win. Uh, oh, I love it. And then, so you got to stay all, all night. And I was on like this wooden board. I got news for you. It sucked. I had to sleep on a wooden board, no pillow. And this is like today I could do that. No problem. I, I get to sleep in this wood board away from my wife and son. I oh, fuck it. How long can I stay? Who do I got to murder in this place to stay longer? Oh my God! I think about going to jail now. It, to, to me, it's the mo it's probably the most liberating experience of my life. Oh, I you mean I don't got to repair the fucking screen door that, that my dog ran through nine times this week? Yeah, I'm on my. It's got to be my fifth time repairing the screen door, because my dog either runs through it at full speed, or he's chewing on it and he rips it out. Oh, you take your pick. The dog wants to go outside. I said, I said to my wife, just leave the door open. And the mosquitoes will come in. Okay, then I'll repair the screen door. I swear to God, I have over $150 in screen door repairs. And it costs nothing to replace the screen door. And then, and then I got to get the text at work on my last break. 
The dog threw through the screen door again. We need screen. Uh, I want to get the industrial roll of screen. Oh. Oh, put me in jail. But I'd be the happiest guy. They'd be like, why is he so happy? Get him out of here. We're 13 minutes in. Roll the theme song, please. Oh, Callahan. I, what's going on? Callahan here. And we're scanning for crimes. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. That and the, other, oh, and the other thing. My son. Breaking my balls about his birthday. When's my birthday? When's my... Every, every day. When's my birthday? When's my birthday? You got a long way to go, son. You know, it's, it's months away. What's a month? It's 30 days. You, I'm, you, you try to explain the concept of time to a child. I mean... This is, you'll pull your, your hair out with two hands. Yeah. Da 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 da. Yes, yes, yes. I'm right here. Da da, you know what I want for my birthday? What's that, son? He says, I want to, what time is it, watch? I said, okay, we'll get you a little what time is it watch. These kids say crazy things. Like the other day, I put them in timeout. Yeah. Because I'm still, I'm getting them ready to take a shower. I, I feel like I'm, uh, uh. I hear the ocean all of a sudden. I say, son, we got to take a shower. He's fucking around with the dog. Son, we got to take a shower. Let's go. <clears throat> I got to get him in his room, take his clothes off, whatever. Now I got to give him the countdown. Five, four, three, two. And he's not moving until I hit one. And then he's like gingerly walking. And as we're walking to the room... He sees the dog out of the corner of his eyes and he takes off running after the dog again. I'm like, all right, we got to do a timeout time out here. So I grab him. I say, time out. I bring him in the room, sit him down in the chair, close the door. He goes bananas. All right. Time out for me is like a little break. Like, like being at work. It's like a 15. I sit down. I get on the phone. He's screaming. I just like... <laughs> I have like my editing program. I have like a DSer or like, you know, eliminate background noise. I just, I go, and it's like I turn it off. It's amazing when you're a parent. This is like, can you imagine the psychological edge that you're on as a parent all the time? So I, it's just, I was like, I, okay, turn off background noise. Okay, off. Next thing you know, I'm like, do, do, do on the phone. Yes, I know. I love it. Fuck you. And then, uh, I'm like, all right, let me get him out of timeout now. So I go in the room, I start taking his, uh, clothes off, and he says, he, he says to me, I don't like you. I'm not your friend anymore. So I'm like, yeah, well, you, you don't have to be my friend, but I'm your father. You have to do what I say. And he says, I'm going to get rid of you. <laughs> like the kid from the Twilight Zone. Remember the kid, what was his name, Billy? That, that could, like, make people disappear, like, with his will? I don't know. what The kid was, like, some type of freak. He could just, like, 
turn your head into a jack in the box. <laughs> <laughs> and all the, the all the neighbors. This is my favorite episode of the Twilight Zone. And like all all the neighbors are walking on eggshells as they go past. And he's like, I want to play ball with you. And, he's like, and the guy's like, he's on his way to work, and he's like, uh, Sure, Billy, we can, we can play ball. Uh, and he like throws him the ball or something. And the ball like he doesn't throw the ball directly to him. He's like, uh, Shut up! So like, I'm gonna make you disappear. And the other day he was like, well, Billy, don't do that. And then all of a sudden, the guy disappears. <laughs> what a horror for a little kid to have that kind of power. That's a horror. And then the, the Nick, and then Rita falls on the floor. And then the, uh, and then the other neighbor's like, Billy, br- bring him back, Billy. And he was like, he's like, he was mean to me. <laughs> That was my son. He goes, uh, yeah, so he says, uh, I'm going to get rid of you, and then I'm going to get rid of mommy, and then I'm going to learn how to cook, and I'm going to have a lot of birthdays. (laughs) I said, what is this kid, a freaking psychopath? Now I'm like, what do I got to sleep with one eye open? He meant it, too. It was like, you know, he meant it. I'm I'm waiting for the knife to come at my neck. Oh, my God. Oh, one time... uh, I know. I know. But one time... uh, He got a pair of scissors when he was younger, when he was like two and a half, almost three. I don't know how he got a pair of scissors. And I like fell asleep in the bed and I wake up and he's stabbing the pillow next to me (laughs) with the scissors. I turn around. I was like, (laughs) I don't know. Roll the theme song. That's true. He was like, (sighs) Oh, my God. Come on. This is some type of mix. Always in trouble, but definitely sensible. See you now. All right, out of here. Hold on a second. Shot at Cap Gun. All right. Listen, that was ninety-three. I get you forty ounces. Remember? Tap the bottle, twist the cap. Remember? Top of the morning to you. Come on. Come on. My God. 93, winter time, 93. Oh my God. It reminds me of when we were were hanging out with these girls. We had had these girls we would hang out with. And I remember my buddy... uh, We would have like a snowball fight and my friend grabbed a chunk of snow and threw it on this girl Jessica's head and it was like a piece of ice and she (laughs) and it just like clobbered her into the ground. (laughs) It was such an accident though. He didn't know it was a piece of ice. And then she ran home screaming, crying. Ah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are we doing here? I want to talk about today... You know what I want to talk about today? I want, I want to talk about a game miraculously that we don't have. And that is, and I, I, I just looked in the cabinet to try to find it. I can't find it. And uh, 
This is a game that I got for my birthday with my birthday money. This was like almost a day one purchase. I remember going down to Electronics Boutique and I saw this game and I had to have it. It was the... um. It, I was totally drawn in by the graphics on the back of the box. I said, oh my God. My whole thing was, listen, listen. You want to give me monsters? I'm in. You want to give me realistic graphics? You know, this, this is Castlevania type of stuff. You understand? That's what I liked. I, don't, I didn't want Super Mario Brothers. I had no interest. Of course, we all played... I, we played the, I played the first Super Mario Brothers. Uh, the second Super Mario Brothers is my favorite Super Mario Brothers of all time. The third one, I didn't even play. Uh, but I used to beat Super Mario Brothers 2 over and over and over again. I just loved the game. I just loved the game. And then Super Mario World, I used to basically watch Phil play it. And, you know, sometimes I would play too, but I, I wasn't interested in Super Mario. I wanted to play Draken. <laughs> I remember Draken. Oh my god. What a fucking game. Please. Sip a coffee for Draken. This was the mood I was into. This, this is what I was after. You understand? Scary. When I saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I said. This is right up my alley. I remember the cover. It had Dr. Jekyll like on the cover. It was like this like pink and yellow cover, like cut in half. And it, he was on there like this. It was like purple. I don't know. I'm going off of, of memories from 91. Was it 91 when that game came out? What am I in the ninth grade at the time? I don't. So I'm going to tell you something about this game. Of course, AVGN made it the big thing to crank on this game. And I get it. Okay, the game's not perfect. But what I will tell you about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is it's that one of these games that I would keep on playing. I'd loved to play it. Can I sit here and tell you that it was a good game? I don't know. But I love to play it. So if that, if that's the case, then it's a good game in my book, for me at least. And I would find myself going back to this game all the time. And you know what I loved? I loved the opening, uh, when you're Dr., uh, when you're Dr. Jekyll, when you first start and you're walking through the neighborhood. This old neighborhood, right? I mean, there were houses, there were trees. The graphics were sensational for that time. I loved it. And you were just a regular guy with a cane and that music. This is very relaxing music. And you were like in the neighborhood and there were there were girls walking by with parasols. I mean this was like what this was like what is this the 1800s? And everybody dressed up and like top hat. And sure it was frustrating. This guy would walk by and drop a bomb and you'd have to get away from the bomb or it would make you zip across the screen. I mean there was nothing more frustrating. But the backgrounds were gorgeous. The houses were back were gorgeous. And there was a part in the game where you'd walk by like a like the stone fences. You understand? Like the stone uh fence, like a park area. And it reminded me of a park, Argyle Park, where I used to go. I still go. I still go with my son. That's where I was walking around the lake. <clears throat> It, re it reminds me of Argyle Park almost exactly. 
And for some reason, I really liked that because I used to go to Argyle Park with my my mother when I was a young boy. I went to Argyle Park my whole life. They have little little waterfalls there. I mean, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. But the real hit of the game is you would walk as you were walking. There was a fountain of a uh, a little boy taking a piss. <laughs> And every time I would get to that part, the first time you would see it, the fountain, he wasn't taking a piss. And then the second time you saw it, and I know why Nintendo did this. Because, uh, I think because they, they didn't even expect anybody to get to the, to the second time you saw the fountain because the game was so fucking hard. They figured anybody that got to the second fountain where the boy is actually taking a piss, it's got to be over 30 years old. Anyhow, when you would get to the second fountain where the boy was actually taking a piss, oh my god, I would call my mother in the room. This was like, this was like crazy stuff. You understand? Uh, this was such a um, video game memory for me. Ma, ma, come here, look at this. The boy is taking a piss. And my mother would come in the room and she'd be like, <sighs> like, wh like, why didn't I, I coat hang this kid out of my vag when I had the chance? Anyway, that was a big, big thrill for me. <laughs> so, it's my wife's birthday coming up. And naturally, we're working on the yard. You know, I'm working on the yard. I love, to, I love how I say we're working on the yard. She buys plants, and then I got to plant them all over the yard. But in the corner of our yard... There's something missing. You understand? And I wanted to get this big tree there, you know, the tree with the little poofy thing here and, and the poo it's the it's the tree equivalent of a poodle. Just a real showstopper in the corner of the ad. But I and I love it. I, I plant all these uh, anyhow. But I couldn't find the tree that I'm looking for that that I was looking for the, for the yard for under fucking the, the tree that I wanted was like $600. I'm like, I'm not paying $600 for a tree. So it dawned on me the other day. And here we have it, folks. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I know. You gotta be Franco Colombo to lift this box. Okay. Okay, here we go. Are we ready for this? I know I am. Look at how sharp that, do you see how sharp that is? Oh, that's pretty sharp. Come on. Come on. That's pretty sharp. All right, let's see if we get this right. Oh, this is 
wrapped up really nice. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my God. It's bigger than mine. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. This guy's having a good old time, huh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there it is look it's got the hose down here the hose has come oh my god I can't wait I can't wait Ishka Ishka so it's a lot of pieces it's got this and then it's got a a, a, a basin and then the uh, the pedestal on the bottom <laughs> it's just the greatest thing of all time. <laughs> ah, look at that thing, huh? Woo! Woo! Okay. So, you know something? In the spirit of things, let's, uh, excuse me, picture picture time. Oh, this is going to be fun. I haven't played this game. I haven't played this game since the 90s. Since the early 90s. Yep. All right. Let's see here. B, C, D, Dr. We pass it. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, right here. Let's do it. The hand coming up. You And by the way, that's Rygar music right there. Yes. So I don't understand that because this was Bandai? Oh yeah. Oh my God. You ever see Jerry Lewis, Nutty Professor? Oh, we're gonna have to talk about that one day. All right. Ding, ding, ding. That's, the, yes. Oh yeah, bitch, I got it. Here we go. Got our cane. Now the guys in the top hats, look at the graphics. This guy's a scumbag. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, jump. Like the trees, the sky, the houses. That little piece of shit with his uh, 
Slingshot. Yes. Oh, come on. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. This is like a Sunday walk. Do you understand? Watch this timing. You ready for this time? Ah! No! Ah, shit! Yes, yes. Oh, come on! I don't remember this game being this hard. This is impossible. This is just impossible. Oh, here we go. That's what I need. Yes. Yes, that, that was the trick to this, right? <laughs> is that game over? It probably is. So imagine you're a kid. This is the game you get, and that happens. Come on. All right, let's grow a set of balls here. Okay, here we go. A little choich in the background there. Oh, come on. What, I get hit by the door? Oh shit, go, 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 go! Ugh! Oh my god. Well, oh, fuck you. This is like a real piece of shit neighborhood. <laughs> Here we go, come on old man. Come on, uh, Abraham Lincoln. Not this time. Oh, here we go. It's Argyle Park. There's the cat. Oh, the cat's annoying. But look at these lush graphics. I mean, come on. Oh, oh. Just, you just got to keep on moving. Can you imagine this stuff actually happening? Ugh. If you were walking down the block? You'd be like, boy, honey... You come home from a walk, your wife say like she's like, what's the matter, honey? Oh, I had a rough uh, a rough trip through the neighborhood. And it would almost seem like you walked forever. Yes, where are we going? To the cemetery? This is the cemetery, right? Yes. Oh, come on. The bees flying around? Yeah, yeah. Look, birds taking a shit on you? Come on. Oh, no. Oh, that was a direct hit. Now, if I remember correctly, you have to stay in the corner. Because it's scrolling now, right? But I thought you had a weapon. This, this is impossible. Oh, maybe you had to jump. Yes. Okay, we stay here. And jump. I, 
I just remember you had to stay alive for a long time. And then die. Uh, you know what? Oh, this game can suck an egg. Alright, yeah, maybe it was a shit game. You know what? What do I know? Guys. Do you know that you just... God damn it to hell? Alright. Did anybody tell you that you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization? And you better believe that. With the 4K face! We'll see you next time. No. No. Hey. No.
you kidding me? No, 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 no,